Anyway, I've got a little story time, but also loads of Nintendo stuff to show you. So as you can see by the title, I broke my hands and my finger, whatever it says, because of the Nintendo Switch. It, stop it now. Basically, it's Blue's Clues with guns. I died a terrible death. Basically, spend your time, one, looking at booty, and two, kicking the booty. Hi, home dogs. Hi. Help me. Help me. Hello, home drizzles. Hello, home dogs. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It's right there. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. Just help, help me out. Help a short British girl out. Anyway, I've got a little story time, but also loads of Nintendo stuff to show you. So as you can see by the title, I broke my hands and my finger, whatever it says, because of the Nintendo Switch. Now, let me just explain this situation. Basically, short story, I'm now a full-time content creator. I've not had time in my life to sit down and play games for hours and hours and hours on end. However, last week was my first official week of being full time. So I decided to sit down most nights and play like five to six hours on the Nintendo Switch. It was all fine. It was all dandy until I started feeling an ache. An ache in, in the hands, in the arms, in the wrists. And I was thinking arthritis, my old friend. <laughs> I did a bit of the Googling and asked Jeeves maybe it was carpal tunnel maybe my bones are breaking and decaying because i'm one year older nearly who knows who in the hell knows anyway the next day it gets progressively worse and my fingers start to not be able to work my thumbs done for dead deceased Ugh. the pain in this finger i mean pain is good if you can feel the pain then you know you're alive if you can feel the pain then you know you're Alive, my enemies I will fight. Ooh, this is my enemy, but was absolutely incredible. And I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. I was convinced I had arthritis. So I went to my docs, rang my docs. He said, Hey, I said, Hello, H hello. I have pains in my fingers, and my middle finger feels like it's broken. He said, okay, baby girl, get your little ass to the doctors and let me sort it out. So I went to the doctors. Turns out <laughs> I had gamer's fingers from the switch. I'll tell you what that means in a sec. Also, turns out I had a hairline fracture. When he told me I was confused, I touched my hairline and said, excuse me, what is going on? He said, no, baby, not hairline. He said, hairline fracture in your finger. The issue is, is because of COVID, the beautiful, beautiful, fabulous COVID, I couldn't go to the hospital to get an x-ray, so he assumed it was a hairline fracture. I think it's a light sprain, but I'm not a doctor just yet. If you didn't know, he's a doctor. So, um, gamer's finger, he explained. Because I've been spending a lot of time on my Switch at night, a lot. My thumbs couldn't take the weight of the Nintendo Switch, and I was playing it without the grip too. So it was really uncomfortable because this is so big. It started to affect my thumbs and my wrist and I couldn't play games for about a week on top of having a little fracture from falling over the week before it was all my hands were a mess so all my wrists hurt and also these fingers from the trigger the trigger finger pew 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 to you and yeah basically the Nintendo Switch damaged my hands for about a week and a half so I realized that I'm very much used to playing the Nintendo Switch Lite this console, if you have like smaller hands and aren't Arnold Schwarzenegger with the most thickest, strongest wrists and hands in the world, um, is so much more easier for me to play. I can sit and play for about 10 hours on this. No problems, no harm. Super light, it's absolutely amazing. And I would suggest getting this console if you don't want to damage your hands. Whereas the Switch itself, no, 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 no. I think I've just broke it. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. However, the Switch itself is humongous, it's massive, and really quite uncomfortable. Um, however, there is ways around getting this hand pain. I put it on Instagram, Twitch, Reddit, Twitter, Twitch, and everyone replied saying yes, they get hand pain when using the Switch. Um, so what I went and did is I, I went and got myself a grip. Now, the grip is so great. It makes everything so much more comfortable. However, it is still 
quite uncomfortable to use for long amounts of times because of the weight of the Nintendo Switch itself. I think it's really heavy. So if this is an issue for you, um, either get yourself a Pro Control and then you can just stand it up and play. Or if you wanna get yourself something cute and cheap, get yourself one of these little 20 pound kitty controllers. As you can see, they are tiny. They're really, really small and it's good for small hands and it's really just comfortable and it's also very, very, very cute. I don't think people talk about the pain that the Nintendo Switch can cause that much so i'm here to explain so i hope my explaining helped while you're maybe feeling some arm pain or thumb pain i might never get this from the playstation when i play for hours on end or the xbox just the switch so anyway now the rambling is over anyway now the rambling is over oh sneaky i want to share with you some things that i've got recently so I've got my whole physical Nintendo Switch collection to show you. I'm not going to show you the intimate parts of my Switch. No, that's between me and I. Maybe I'll show you if you ask me nicely <laughs> in the future. But I want to show you my physical collection because I believe that I've never had um, my physical elements with you guys. I did receive a pack package in the post. Um, this is not a paid a paid thing in my Barbie. This is just me receiving a present, being happy and wanting to share with the world. So um, this is from Super Rare Games. Knife. Knife is needed. Got the knife, equip, equip. So Super Rare work with our, work with our favorite indie games and they make it so we can have physical exclusive copies. Can't use a knife of our games. Um, there is only a limited copy of each game, so you have to be quick when buying um, because they're super rare, of course. I was that much harder than it should have been. I'm not trying to die. Oh, okay. So. So obviously we get the super rare games card and then we have got two super duperty rare games and also a collector's edition beautifully packaged can i just say timothy this is so hard to use a stupid finger okay so we have got the gardens in between special edition and we also have i'm not going to open it with this because that would be absolutely project warlock and oh, i don't know if i should open these and also this is like christmas christmas without the corona we have got Dandara tales of fear now i do want to open this one so maybe I'm gonna, oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, I'm gonna keep these closed, okay? And we are going to open the gardens between special edition. How about that? How does that sound? Does that sound okay, Timothy? Yes. Very, 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 very excited. The box is oh, stunning. I actually don't want to use the knife because I'm reckless with a knife, with any weapons actually. Okay, so here is the box, gardens in between, and also the back. It is stunning. It's so pretty. This is the PS Store of Resistance. Oh. We've got a poster. I don't know how much it's letting you see, but it just says the gardens between. And then we also have we, there's some arts and crafts. Okay, we should save this for Twitch. Then we've got 
what we've all been waiting for really. It's the game on this side, the art book on this side. So this is what you get with the other games. You get a package here, some cards. Like I'm not sure what's in the card, but we're about to find out. Cool! So you've got the characters with their little character profile, which is super interesting. Then you get two little stickers. Yes! 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 And yes! And also yes! We've got pins. You'll see in my Saturday's video why I'm so excited about the pins. And then we have the CDs with the sound track. We've also got a little... It actually is more than an art book. I don't want to ruin it and spoil it for anyone who's planning on purchasing because there is a few left on the store. But it goes through the game, how it's made, and just... Oh, I want some of these prints for my new gaming room. That's also what will be in these two packages, but I just don't want to open them yet, to be honest. I'm sorry, don't hate me. <laughs> I don't want to open them yet. Shout out Super Rare Games. Thank you so much, amazing. Okay, so um, just to let you guys know, uh, one of them is quite expensive and that's this one and it's the Satisfy Grip Polite. And the other one is a cheapier one from Amazon. I'll make sure that I link you below. So now you've seen my accessories for my Switch that I've got recently. Controls and also this cute case um, that I got from eBay. It took weeks to come because it's from China, but it was worth it. We can get on to the physical games that I've got. And I'm really excited because I've never shown my physical games with you guys ever. So this is the first time. I'm gonna go through them quite quickly. I'll try not to gush. Gushing is not allowed today, gushers. No, we don't do it. We're gonna look and get through really quickly because already we're probably like 20 minutes into this video. And I'm annoying, I get it. Less sun, more fun. First game that I have got is Lego City Undercover. Any Lego game is decent AF. I like Lego in real life. Back in the game. We also have the Harry Potter collection, the Lego collection, which is great because it's based off all of the Harry Potter films and you get really cool mini adventures, you get to build stuff with Lego, it's fabulous. And then, I'm sorry, Xenoblade Chronicles. It's still sealed. This was a gift from someone absolutely amazing, but unfortunately it is still on my TBP. And I will get through it. I'm talking too much, I need to wet my palette. Another game is called Come and Visit tuba book and it's a mystery it's a mystery sci-fi game that's based in germany and it's got really good reviews it's something that i'm going to probably sit down and play through on my own throughout the whole day but the art style of the game and everything it looks gorgeous it's right up my alleyway it's called the next one is called bazooka um i actually got sent this randomly didn't expect it in the post and it's a battle action party game. It looks like a little puzzler. Not yet played it. It looks like it could be a fun one. <gasps> this game has won my heart. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I had hours and hours over Christmas playing this game. Don't, don't hurt me now, but I didn't realize it was actually Pokemon Yellow, which is so stupid of me. Told, then I was told very kindly that this game is Pokemon Yellow. And I was like, I've got to buy it. Then I was looking for it everywhere, everywhere where I live and I couldn't find it. Uh, and then someone gifted it to me and it's not even in here right now, Ring Fit is in here. It's actually in my Switch because I'm still currently playing through it. I do not want it to end. It's, I'm so lucky I've got Stardew as my side chick. Um, then of course, stop it, stop it now. We have Skyrim. Don't think I really need to say, don't think I really need to say much about it. It's amazing that we've got it on our Switch and you can play Skyrim on your sofa in your hand. Not for a long amount of times or you'll break your hands and fingers. We've got Final Fantasy, another game that I'm yet to play on my Switch. Next is a dreamy, dreamy game. We've got Professor Layton. For me, again, it's the nostalgia of the game. Um, it was one of my favorite games on my Nintendo DS. 
and I've always loved it. So to be able to play it and have this such a cute art style on my Switch is the best thing ever. And I thoroughly enjoyed playing through this game. Not finished it, but I've got all these games, okay? It's too much to finish. I said I was gonna get through this fast. So we have got uh, an amazing game. First played it on the PlayStation. But then of course, had to get it on the Switch. LA Noel. Good ass game. Play as Detective Cole in the 40s. You save crime, you kill people, you get them arrested. Basically, it's Blue's Clues with guns. Don't need to even say anything about this game. If you have a Switch and you don't have it, then I'm disappointed and upset. We've got Super Mario Odyssey, one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch. It makes you happy inside, gives you that tingly warm feeling that you can't get from anyone else. For the game that doesn't need an introduction, we have Splatoon. Two. This is a <laughs> first person shooter. It's not. What it is, is Fortnite with paint. Basically Turf Wars, it's awesome, I love it. I'm not that good at it though. I hate everybody because everyone else is better than me at most games. No introduction again, we have Pokemon Sword. Which I will spend a lot of time playing after I um, finish Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I think. Wow, I've got so many games physical and I swear I wasn't gonna go super physical this year but really I, I love that shit. Okay, we have got Deadly Prema, oh, I forgot about these. Deadly Prema, it's another weird and wonderful game, basically like Blue's Clues for 18 year olds. It's sick, it's twisted and I love it. Cool classic. If you feel like it's a game that's not spoke about enough, it does get quite weird. If you like that, shh, then here we are. And um, we also have another weird game, Larry's Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Actually yet to play it. I'm not sure how freaky it gets, but if I know it gets quite freaky, then I'm happy to play it on Valentine's Day over on Twitch. It would be a fun time, right? Um, we also have Steinstein's Steins Gate. Anime lovers, I got you. Paid it on the PlayStation Vita. It's definitely worth the money. You get about 50, 40 hours of playtime out of this. Um, and I'm excited to play it on the Switch when I've got time, but because I've already played it, I've not yet played it on the Switch. These next three games, I feel like I don't need to go through because you got a Switch. These are the classics. If you're watching this, first time switcheroo you need to get yourself Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's an incredible adventure game and there's not many things that top it. We have got uh, Super Smash Bros. Um, it's a fighter with all your favorite Nintendo characters. It's fantastic. And also Mario Racing. This is what it is. Super Mario, I mean, Super Mario, Mario Deluxe A. It's a fun game to play with your friends, family, lovers. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've had eight for years now and it's time for an, a DLC at least. A few new tracks, something, because I can't play it anymore. I'm, it's fun, but I need more. Uh, the next, <laughs> when I found out we had The Witcher on the uh, Nintendo Switch, I died a terrible death. I've got The Witcher, the collector's edition. It comes with a little butt, and it, I think it came with a keyring, maybe making that up. <laughs> the next game I've been playing on the PlayStation 5, I wanted it on the Switch 2 in case. I was gonna say in case I go out, but they ask you how you are you just have to Where am I gonna go? <laughs> Immortals Phoenix Rise. It is an adventure game and I think it's quirky and really fun and cute. Everyone says it's like a ripoff of Zelda. I think it's Zelda Diet Zelda, but it's fantastic and I would still buy it for 30 pounds. Timothy, get yourself to Asda, it's a bargain. Then we have The Raven Remastered, another one of these detective games where you have to figure out who in the world killed who in the world. Put it in and up before you lose clues, who's clues. And it's The Raven Remastered. I actually got sent this when it did come out on the Switch, but I also just spoiled it myself because I wanted to get physical. <gasps> I like this game because it's set back in the day. I like the times where I didn't exist to see how, you know, things were. Games can be educational, teach about history and stuff, you know, games aren't bad for you. I always say it Bonita, but I know it's Bayonetta, I think, but we've got Bonita. Basically, spend your time, one, looking at booty, and two, kicking the booty. 
That's the game in one. Okay, we have, let me have a game that I've not played on the Switch enough and I feel like I should have, and that's FIFA 20. Because I've got 21 on the PlayStation 5, um, I don't think I've shown enough love to this, and I think I, I need to and want to so I can get better. You only get better by playing more. If you like Harvest Moon, if you like Stardew Valley, if you like Story of Seasons, then this oh, Rune of Factory 4, I actually got to play this before it came out at EGX. Shout out, marvellous. Incredible, absolutely. Rune Factory. I want to be in your world. Fall in love, make friends, grow crops, visit your favourite towns, fight things. There is a lot of adventure going on in this game and it's so good. Oh, love you. Um, again, uh, my Rose sent me this and it's the day one edition of Root Letter. Anime fans, we stand. If you live for the drama, you're gonna live through this game. It's very, very good. Okay, we're nearly, we're nearly through my, um, <laughs> my, I guess, haul collection. This is Dusk Over. You get to, to defend your streets, make friends, explore, try different foods, just go through different dimensions. Uh, really fun game, haven't finished it, so I can't give you the verdict, but interesting, expensive, but fabulous. <gasps> I haven't played this! And I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> it's called Katso, no, okay. Koto Doma. I can't read. It's, it's my dyslexia kicking in, I think. Welcome to Fidusa Academy, where every pupil hides a dark secret. Find clues and confront your friends with exciting puzzles. It looks really, really good. And, oh no. Oh shit, oh no, I didn't hit the game, oh no, 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 Okay, oh, you get things. Oh, okay, okay. Why do games like this do this? Titties, titties, great bodies, but the guy is naked. I mean, cool, thanks. <laughs> Game. Here's the game. I'm, uh, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of ludity. We have also got Bendy the Machine. Everyone keeps asking me to play this on it. So um, we also have Dark Siders. Wait. Siders the Definitive Edition. We have. Where's Fire Emblem? Can I only show you that? If not, I've got Fire Emblem physical copy somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, but it's somewhere. Fate Link. We've got a collection of mana and this has the three games, I think. In here, Secrets of Mana, Trials of Mana, Final Fantasy Adventure, Mystic Quest. Um, now I've got more time. This will be a game that I dive very deeply into and enjoy it. The last one is something that the gameplay looks stunning. I'm not just saying that. It looks incredible. This is a war game. Experience war through the eyes of civilians, trying to survive in a besaged, besaged, help, city. Make a life and death decisions driven by your conscience, if you have one. Protect everybody, protect everybody or make heartbreaking sacrifices. Do whatever it takes. In a time of war, survival is all that matters. Cobra Kai, never die. That's all of my games. Oh. <laughs> That's all of my games, everybody. Oh, my, my, my sneaky fell everywhere. Also, use code SUMPI if you want to indulge. So, thanks for, you know, 